Hi, Jeff here with Corsair. I'm going to demonstrate the installation of the Hydro Series H60 liquid CPU cooler. The second generation Hydro Series H60 has been completely redesigned. The pump and cooling block are more efficient and allow for improved flow, and the closed loop tubing has a larger diameter. The new fan is based on the design of our award-winning SP120 static pressure fan and uses custom-designed blades and a high-torque motor specifically designed to push air through a radiator. The new fans deliver better static pressure with less noise than the previous fans. And the mounting bracket is a simpler, modular design. Some people are hesitant about making the move to liquid CPU cooling, but the installation is just as easy, if not easier, than installing a high-performance air cooler. The thermal paste is pre-applied and the cooling system comes pre-filled. The H60 provides better cooling and lower noise than the stock cooler that came with your CPU, so there's really no reason not to upgrade to liquid CPU cooling if you care about performance. I'm going to install it in the system that I've built using a Carbide Series 200R mid-tower case. Like all Corsair cases, it has a CPU cutout so I can install the mounting bracket without removing the motherboard. I've already removed the stock cooling fan from the Intel LGA1155 CPU. The first step is to install the back plate. This secures the pump to the motherboard. The quick start guide instructs you to install the radiator and fan first but when I'm doing installation demos, I like to install the backplate first. You can do it in either order. Now, I'm installing the standoff screws. These will act as posts to hold the mounting bracket for the pump head. By the way, if you're installing the H60 on an AMD system, or an Intel system that uses the LGA2011 socket, you don't need to install the backplate. It's all explained in the quick start guide. Now, we slide the mounting bracket over the pump head and align the four slots over the standoff screws. Now, I'm using the thumb screws to attach the mounting bracket. The science behind tightening the thumb screws is similar to tightening the bolts when you're changing a tire. I like to lightly tighten them at opposite corners and then tighten all four. You don't want to over tighten them, but it's easy to feel when they're tight enough. You just need to make sure that the cold plate is resting on top of the CPU. Now I'm installing the radiator and fan. This assembly replaces the exhaust fan that's already mounted on the case. The side of the fan with the CE logo should be facing the radiator. That's because the fan included with the H60 is designed to deliver high static pressure for efficiently pushing heat out of the radiator. I'm installing the fan so that it draws air from outside the case. This is to ensure that the coldest air is available to draw across the radiator. This provides lower CPU temperatures. This is what I recommend for most situations, but if your case is already well ventilated, you may want to experiment with flipping the fan around so that it exhausts air from inside the case. Hydra Series has just one power connector. You can connect it to any 3-pin or 4-pin fan power header on your motherboard. And that's it. It's a simple process, and all you need is a screwdriver to install the radiator and fan. If you want to get better performance out of your system with lower noise, then the Hydra Series H60 is a great way to go. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, here's how to get in touch with us.